Hey guys, Neely here, coming in today for Wellness Wednesday, giving you an update on how things are going with my diet, nutrition, wellness, health, life. So I have been telling you guys that I've been trying to think of what I want to do as far as a healthy eating weight loss kind of push, um, kind of had been in maintenance mode for a while and was just thinking towards trying to push for more weight loss and I kind of went back and forth trying to decide what I wanted to do and I finally settled on just doing a Whole30. I did a Whole30 back in October so that's been like five months ago I think, something like that. So I figure if I do uh, a Whole30 like two or three times a year that's a really good amount of times to do it and um, I'm kind of following the plan in the Food Freedom Forever book which is right here. Um, which I absolutely love. Highly recommend this book. It's kind of uh, after the Whole30 or kind of how to use a Whole30 and then how to continue to live life afterwards. A lot of plans, especially like 30 day reset type things, they just tell you to do it and then either continue to do it forever as a lifestyle or they don't give you any plans of what to do. But this is a really great book about um, like figuring out mindset, your relationship with food, and just learning how to eat normally, and then how also to use a reset like the Whole30 in your life so that it keeps you continually on track. So kind of the idea is that you do a reset, then you kind of gradually move into regular life and figure out what kind of foods are worth it to you, what kind of foods your body does well with, and what your body doesn't do well with, and you kind of live life for a while, and as you're you know, just getting into it, the time in between resets kind of can be can be a little bit crazy, but the more you do it and the more you come back to the reset and then go back into living life, life again, the um, less crazy you go, I guess. Like you get, you learn to be more moderate. And so, um, yeah, so you just kind of keep, keep that pattern and gradually like you'll go longer and longer between resets because you won't kind of go off the deep end after your reset, in between your resets, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what I've been doing and what seems to be working well. I might, I'm just kind of falling into that pattern. Gradually, I um, have not gone crazy uh, between, you know, in this maintenance eating time period, but I definitely have not been eating weight loss friendly and, um, you know, been indulging in things that I know that if I keep indulging in, my body is going to start fighting back a little bit. So I knew I needed to clean things up a little bit. I enjoyed my time, like with my family and with Talia's birthday treats and all that. That was fantastic. But I know for sure that I can't keep doing that. And actually, I already started feeling some like inflammation, the symptoms and stuff, which was a really um, big trigger that was like, I gotta, I gotta get on top of this. Like I didn't feel bad about what I did. Um, cause I'm out of that mindset of like feeling bad about how I eat, um, whatever I choose, whether it's good or bad food. I, I have kind of distanced myself from the emotional reaction to it. Um, so I definitely didn't, don't feel bad about how I indulged. It was part of living and enjoying a family and birthday celebrations. And that was totally fine. And I'm glad that I did it. Um, but I do know that if I don't get back on something a little bit more healthy for my body that I will um, start having some more symptoms that I don't want. So this is going to be way too much information for you guys. And uh, I apologize if there are any guys watching, you probably just want to kind of turn it off right now. Um, but I, so this last month, I was absolutely convinced that I was pregnant. <laughs> I that and that's part of the reason why I kept coming on and saying I'm in maintenance mode and I'm, I haven't decided yet what I want to do because I, I I thought for sure I was pregnant but I didn't know for sure for sure so I um, didn't want to start anything and then find out I was pregnant so anyways the reason that I thought I was pregnant is because I was having some symptoms that I don't normally have as PMS symptoms particularly breast tenderness um, that's just not something that I typically have as PMS and I was having it this time and I was like That I mean, that's what I get when I'm pregnant Like I that's a symptom a pregnancy symptom for me not a PMS symptom So I was 100% I was pregnant So I spent like a week or two weeks utterly convinced that I was pregnant and then um, of course my period had to come a day late uh, which <laughs> I was like 
duh. So anyways, I'm not pregnant. Um, but, and I remember thinking when I was having those symptoms and I was thinking that I was pregnant, I was like, if I'm not really, if it turns out that I'm not really pregnant, I've got some inflammation going on because this is not normal for me. And so anyways, when I found out that I wasn't pregnant, I was like, okay, so I definitely know that, um, my body is not happy with, uh, something or some of the things that I'm doing. So anyways, that's all motivation for getting back on track. And I think a whole 30 is a great way to do it. I just couldn't get my mind around doing anything, um, super restrictive. I didn't want to do low fat. I'm really just sick of trying to make low fat meals and a whole 30 is a great way to eat super healthy and not have to worry about the scale and gaining weight. Like I'm able to eat carbs and fat together and not worry about gaining weight. The last time I did a whole 30, I lost seven pounds um, while eating lots of fat and carbs together. And so it's kind of an indulgent way to eat um, in that aspect. Um, of course, you're cutting out a lot of indulgent things like dairy and any kind of sugar and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm able to eat like sweet potatoes with ghee or um, roasted potatoes, um, just different things like that that are just really filling and satisfying and indulgent. And I don't have to worry about portion size for the most part. I mean, of course, I don't want to go crazy. Um, but I'm eating so many vegetables that I don't, I just don't have to worry about portion size and calories or anything like that. And I know like I'm safe as far as I'm not going to gain a ton of weight. So all of that combined, just the break from thinking about, um, portion sizes, also the break from thinking about the scale. Not that I was having that big of an issue with it, but I've been weighing at least weekly, um, and with the whole 30, you're not supposed to weigh the whole time. You just weigh before and after. So I'm just kind of using it as a detox break, get my body healthy, get my mind healthy. Um, just kind of a reset like that. So as far as timing, I am kind of doing something a little funny. It's actually going to be about a whole 45. Um, I haven't done the math to know the exact numbers, but some, somewhere around 45 to 47 days. But I'm having one day in between that is going to be off Whole30. And um, right now we are in birthday season. So I have two birthdays, two kids' birthdays in March, then my birthday in April, then my husband's and my anniversary in May, then June is Otto's birthday, July is Renee's birthday, and August is my husband's birthday. So this is birthday season, which actually works out really well because all the holidays are in the other part of the year. So... It works out well, but it's birthday season. And I decided quite a few years ago that I was not going to be the mom that never participated in the birthday treats or the birthday dinner. I did that for several years where we would get whatever treat it was. I remember specifically Talia's second birthday. She wanted uh, donuts. And so we took her to a donut shop and she got to try her donut. And I did not have a taste and I just decided I don't want my kids to look back on all of those birthday and, uh, you know, family gatherings and remember that mom never participated and enjoyed the treat with them. And I decided that that's not healthy for me to do that. Like, it doesn't sound right saying it's not healthy for me to say no to a donut on Talia's second birthday. But I realized that health is not just physical it's also social and mental and emotional and for me and this is just for me i'm not saying this is for anybody else um for me and from where my body is i'm not a i don't have celiac disease i i can eat a donut without too many repercussions that kind of thing if you have allergies and all that kind of stuff then definitely this is not meant to be for you this is only for me um but for me Eating a donut on my child's birthday when she chooses a donut for her treat is actually healthier for me than saying no and watching them all eat it and me not. That's just where I came to after a few years of being super strict and super almost religious about it, not, not touching the dirty, unclean things. But um, it was a real big shift in my mindset that has been really, really good for me. So anyways, all that to say... Charity's birthday is coming up on the 29th. So we just had Talia's sixth birthday and Charity Ruth's uh, fourth birthday is coming up on the 29th of March, which is two weeks away. I think it's two weeks from today, actually. 
And so I started my Whole30 yesterday, so today is day two. And then on the 29th, I am going to participate in the family dinner for her birthday and um, in the birthday treat. And it may not happen on exactly that day. Sometimes we um, celebrate on a different day, but it should be right around there. And so whatever, she's going to pick where she wants to go to eat for dinner. And then we're going to have a cake um, and probably ice cream. And I will participate in that. And I will have no guilt whatsoever. I will not be cheating. I will not be going off plan because I'm planning it right now. So I'll be perfectly on plan when I eat the birthday cake. Um, so I'm going to do that on the 29th or thereabouts. And then after that, I'm going to continue my whole 30 from then until my birthday, which is the 28th of April. So depending on what day we celebrate um, Charity's birthday, it should be about 30 days in between the 29th of March and the 28th of April because there's 31 months or 31 days in the month of March and um, that'll give me 30 to 31 days of being strict on a whole 30 so I can really say that I did a whole 30 um, before my birthday and then I will have the freedom on my birthday um, to choose whatever I want to do I haven't decided. I don't know what I want to do yet, but we will see. And I will have no guilt there either. Whatever I decide will be on my plan. So anyways, that is where I'm at right now. Um, I'm really happy about it. I really feel like I'm ready for it. Um, you know, the last few weeks I've come on and been like, I'm trying to push for something, but I don't really feel it. And my body's not there. And so I'm just waiting. Um, but I do feel like I'm at the place where I'm ready now and the Whole30 um, is just exactly what my mind and my, I feel like what my body needs. So anyways, that is all that's going on with me. I wanted to mention that I um, am taking video of what I'm eating in a day and I'm just doing them really, really short and quick and what I'm going to try to do, I don't think I'll get it done every single day, but I, whenever I can... I'm going to put together a one minute clip and put it over on my Instagram page. Um, I already put the first one from all of the food I ate yesterday. I put it up this morning and I will put another one up probably this evening um, for all the food that I ate today. And I'm going to try to keep that up as much as I can. We will see. Uh, but then I'm thinking at the end of the week, I may put them all together in a video and either make a... I'll probably make a separate video from my Wellness Wednesdays um, and it'll be like a week of eating on Whole30 and just give you an idea of how I'm eating and if you're eating this kind of a plan then maybe it'll give you ideas of what you can eat. So anyways, that is my plan for that. I also have a few Whole30 themed videos that I have in mind that actually I wrote notes down for when I did my Whole30 back in October and I just never ended up making the video like tips on how to do a Whole30 frugally, and then also tips for how to do a Whole30 with your kids. Um, just some ideas that I had from doing it and, and having them be part of it last time. They're not going to be as much in it this time. Um, I'm not, I'm not making, making them do it um, this time, but when I eat that way, they end up eating a lot more that way, eating a lot more vegetables and all kinds of good stuff like that. So um, just tips on how to make it work with kids. So those are videos I have in my mind that hopefully I will get out at some point during this whole 30, whole 45. And so you can look for that. Um, I think that is it. I have a video on um, my thoughts on THM and the whole 30 and if they can coexist uh, that I made last time. And I will link that up in the cards. Uh, I already had someone ask on Instagram about if I'm not doing um, THM anymore and if I'm doing Whole30. And in that video, I explain all about my thoughts on THM and Whole30 and how they can coexist. Spoiler alert, they can coexist, in my mind at least. Um, so you can go look at that video if you're wondering about that. And I think that's all I have for you. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will talk to you again soon. Bye guys.